Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Now, it's taped off, ready for primer, and what we're going to do, instead, this is a very small uh, dent here, okay? This is very small damage we're looking at here. And instead of uh, mixing up our primer and our spray gun and uh, going through all that hassle of, you know, wasting it, okay, because, you, you know, you're going to mix it up, and then you're going to throw some away, and it's just a waste of time. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use this primer right here, okay? And this is a high build primer that you can purchase in a can, okay? Now, mind you, this can right here costs approximately $22, okay? But it's well worth it, okay? It's a high build primer filler, okay? And for a job that we're doing on this vehicle, this is perfect for that job, and it works great. Uh, as you notice, I'm not showing the uh, brand name of that. If anybody is interested in the brand name of this particular primer, you can contact me, and I'll be glad to give it to you. Uh, if you're not, then great, okay? But uh, this is a very good brand here. This is the only spray-on primer that I use. This is automotive quality primer. Uh, it's industrial primer, and it's very fast drying. I'm going to put two wet coats of this on there. You have to be very careful when you're using a primer like this due to the fact that it can get away on you, and you'll start getting runs in it. And then, of course, it'll be a waste of time and you'll have to sand it all off and start all over. So take your time when you're using something like this and don't waste it. This is very expensive, but it's well worth the purchase. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just dust the coat on there. Do you see, see how I'm doing that? I'm pulling the trigger when I start and I'm letting go of the trigger when I stop. And you can see just by the action we got here that that's a very high build primer, okay? Make sure that I get inside my edge right here where uh, the Bondo was, okay? To speed up the drying process here, I'm going to go ahead and... Just barely blow air on it just to make it tack free. I'll go ahead and put one more coat on there. Shake it up before you use it. Take my air hose, dry it to a tack feeling. Once the primer has come to a nice tack free dryness, before you pull all your paper off, you want to go ahead and put a nice good guide coat on it. Now, this is inexpensive uh, spray paint, there's no advertising on it, so that makes it even better. This is uh, 89 cents a can, okay? This can of spray paint for, the, for what they charge in. Uh, a paint and body shop supply store, you can buy a case of these, okay? All it is is a guide coat. You don't need the expensive stuff. Get the cheapest stuff you can. Go to your local uh, corporation hardware store. Okay, I'm not going to say names. I'm sure everybody knows what we're talking about since they put everybody out of business, all the mom and pop shops. Uh, basically, shops like mine. The corporation has taken over. So, we know who we're talking about here. There's only two of them, okay? And I believe that they're related to each other, some way or the other. But uh, anyway, you can purchase that over there, and uh, good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and shake that up, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put a guide coat on it. And what a guide coat is, just a light coat of paint, as you can see right there. It's just smoke it in. And what that's going to do is let my friend Pete tell you later when we get to that stage. Now that the primer has been applied to it and everything's done, we put our guide coat on it, we're going to go ahead and remove our paper, just like you see, being very careful not to touch the other part of the car with it that's painted already that we don't want to get messed up. And now, what we have just done we have professionally, we have professionally, that's what the professionals do, see? Am I a professional? I don't know. Maybe I am. Okay, I don't know. 
But what you and me have just accomplished, Mr. Blue Collar Worker of America, and all over the world, we have just done what the professionals do, sir, in our garage at home. Do you see the situation we have with minor tools, okay, inexpensive materials, but professional materials, okay? This dent is repaired. Uh, our collision repair on our Mini Cooper is pretty basically done. The rest of the parts that we have are bolt-on items. All we got to do now is paint, bolt back together, and it's a done deal. And the corporation's getting $5,000 to do that. This estimate came out to be $3,864. Now that does include parts, okay? But do you see the situation? What I have just showed you in real time, what I have just showed you in real time, takes approximately one hour. You can do it. Okay? It's a possibility in your mind that's way back in there hiding in your treasure box. Get the key, unlock it, or find the combination, okay, to unlock your brain and do unimaginable things that you've never thought you can do before. We're talking about paint and body here. Of course we are. I own a paint and body shop. This is not a lesson basically on paint and body. This is a lesson on life, okay? This is a lesson on you learning something new every day of your life to keep your life alive type situation, okay? Only at DIY Auto School, and I'm sorry, uh, I do have to mention SWRNC, okay? SWRNC is my molded channel of me, my friend Pete. It's the life and times of my friend Pete. DIY Auto School is cut down straight to the point, no music, okay? A little bit of fun and games. A lot of truth of showing you how to do it, okay? Take it easy. We'll see you on the next little trip. We're waiting on our parts to get here, so we won't be doing nothing on this car, okay? Don't miss the conclusion on our uh, Mini Cooper, but it will be here. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.